Shiki Jai. Jai Ho. <coughs> Maharaj, first we want to listen. No, actually, you know, maybe Goranga Sundara, also Suniti and Gora Chandra, maybe each person or somebody want to talk about Nitai. Very short, you know, not, not too long. Because uh, today is Nityananda Torayodashi appearance day. So just to want some kind of important to some kind uh, of feeling. Hmm? <laughs> First, we need the mercy from Vrindavan. What happened in Vrindavan today? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, Vrindavan, uh, so we have a Nita Toraidasi. I think you may see in Baiba. So, very beautiful flower. We decorate all altar, especially white flower. And uh, about maybe 10 30, we start chanting. And then bathing start. Today, Gurudev also came. And Gurudev was dancing. And then Everybody bathe, especially from beginning, children is bathing Nitai. So all children bathing Nitai first. Then Gurudev as a devotee bathe it. So now just go to Chandra a chanting. Prema Datta. Nitai Gora. So actually, <coughs> this Prema, Datta means giving Prema, is Nitai Gora. So we are chanting this Nitai Gora, Prema Datta Nitai Gora. Then Gurudeva was saying, everybody should do Nitai Gora. Why do you cannot chant? You chant, go, you know, loudly, Nitai Gora. Then Gurudev personally chant, Prema Datta and Nitai Gora. So I was, <coughs> I was a little bit meditating. So what is Prema Datta Nitai Gora? So everybody knows <coughs> Gora is Mahap uh, sorry, uh, Ma Gora means mood of Radharani and also bodily kada of Radha. And inside also Krishna is there. So shooting clean. So, and the Mahaprabhu is wonderful thing is he want to taste Radharani's Prema. Actually, Mahababa. Madanakya Mahababa. Mahaprabhu's wonderful thing is not only his tasting, you want to distribute it. So, but uh, he said, I am gardener of tree of bhakti. Only myself. How can I distribute this fruit of prema? So he is ordering his disciple, please take it, please taste and take it and distribute it. So Mahaprabhu's most dear friend, 
brother and most intimate associate among this is Nitai. Because Nitai is two feature. Baralam and Ananga Manjari. So Nita is both serving Radha and Mohan, Krishna. So especially Nita is wonderful. He knows Mahaprabhu's <coughs> intention, Mahaprabhu's mind. He opened Namahata. <laughs> marketplace of Nama. So, especially in Nab uh, in Navadvi, Bengali, Nita distribute this prema. And whoever wants to be distributed, he does not care who is qualified, who is unqualified. Because Nita it's so merciful. Even Mahaprabhu is most merciful. But even more merciful than Mahaprabhu. Even Jagai Madai. Mahaprabhu, Jagai Madai hit Nita's head. Actually, Madai had it. And the brother is coming. Mahaprabhu become very angry. He want to kill Jagai Madai, especially Madai. Then Nita said, Oh Lord, please be, mad, please be merciful upon them. Because please remember why you came in this material world. In this incarnation, your aim is not killing the demon by your weapon, chakra. You give mercy upon foreign conditioned soul. You are killing the tendency of demoniac tendency in in uh, in in condition source heart. And you are giving prema to all condition soul. Please remember. So Nita is saved Jagai Madai. Jagai Madai was shocked. Because why Nita is so merciful? And then they surrender and at the lotus feet of Nita. Then they get also blessing of Mahaprabhu. They attend daughter's feet of Mahaprabhu. So especially our Sampradaya. Is coming from Nitai and Janabarai. So today we are so much honored and uh, want to glorify our our dear most personality and our Samasta Guru. Nityananda Prabhu. All Guru Barga coming from Nityananda Prabhu. Everything comes from Nityananda Prabhu. Anta Nitai, Bahir Nitai. Nita is inside, also Nita is outside. So by the mercy of Nitai, we can advance. Our Guru Dev is the representative of our Nityananda Prabhu or Janaba Ma. 
So today, I just uh, we want to beg the mercy of our most dear Nityananda Prabhu, so that we may advance, we may enter their most service of our Radha Moha, especially uh, Nikunja Seva. So sorry. So please, please share Suniti Didi or Gora, you know, Gora Sunda and Gora Chandra something about Nita. Anita, Jai Nita. Jai Nita. I don't know where to begin with Nita. Jainanna, already you explained so nice about Nityananda. He is inside and he is outside. Everywhere in all directions there is Nityananda. Inside he is Guru. All the Gurus are expansions of Nitai. Param Guru Dev told to Guru Dev, he has to go to Prabhupada to take his darshan. Because in the heart of Prabhupada, Nita is dancing. Nityananda is very difficult to catch because he is a madman. He is Nityananda. He is always in ecstasy. He looks crazy already when you see him. His eyes <laughs> always red and full of tears. And he is roaring loudly like a madman. Ah, Goranga. He is our dude. He is beyond all the rules and regulations. He can go any place. Normal sannyasi cannot go to certain places. But Nitai, he can go everywhere. He's going to the liquor shop. He is ready to pick up the most fallen souls. And Goranga, he told <laughs> to Haridas, you go with Nitai preaching. You go from door to door, everywhere. <clears throat> and Haridas Thakur was thinking, oh my God, what will happen <laughs> every day? something special happened. <coughs> so when the Leela of Jaga and Madai start, Haridas Thakur and Nityananda, they went for preaching. And then they're listening from far. There was like a tumult. Some problem was there far away. And they start talking, what happened there? And the people, they start telling to Nita and Haridas, don't go there. Two very dangerous person living there. 
if you go near, they will beat you up. They are so criminal and violent. All day they are drinking the alcohol. They are always drunken, always violent. They are stealing. They rob everyone who coming near. Don't go there. <laughs> but Nita say, let's go. Let's go to them. If we can save them, then we can prove that Goranga came to save the most for them. And Haridas, he was worried. Oh my God, again, going with Nitai, this crazy man. So, and Nitai, he is behaving also very tricky way. He just say to everyone, chant names of Goranga. <laughs> he bring us to Goranga. But inside, Ananga Manjari bringing us to Radharani. In Goranga Bolita Habe, second line, Aro Kabe Nita Chan, Karuna Hoire. Oh, when I get the mercy of Nita, then all, all my material desires will disappear. Everything sinful will become small and insignificant. And he expands and everything, everything what we need for the service is Nita. Our harmonium, all the instruments, everything that we use for the worship, everything that we use every day, our house, our car, everything is Nita. So, I pray for the mercy of Nita. <clears throat> yes. Jai Nita. Jai Nita. So, Goranga Sundaraji, could you share something about Nita? Radhe, Radhe. It was so nice to listen to you, both of you. You brought us in this endless ocean of Nita's glories. And our charyas are saying that no one can glorify completely Nitai. Even Anantashesh, who has unlimited heads, cannot glorify Nitai. So it means that even Nitai cannot glorify himself because there is no difference between Anantashesh. Balaram and Nitai, he cannot glorify himself. And like Gorachandra said, it's so difficult to catch Nitai. It's very difficult to understand Nitai. Maybe we can say it's not possible to understand. And this is most difficult tattva also. 
from the point of tattva, to understand. So it means that this Guru Tattva, which represents Nitai, is the most difficult to understand, almost impossible, because this is always Avadut. But we need the mercy, Nitai Kripa. And it said that someone who wants to approach Radha and Krishna, he needs the mercy of Goranga. But to receive the mercy of Goranga, we need the mercy of Nitai. So this is this chain of mercy which is always going and going unlimitedly in unlimited directions because Nitai can expand himself in unlimited forms, unlimited directions. So it's not possible to understand him completely. Even him, he cannot understand him himself completely. And when Gorachandra was talking so nicely, one Lila appeared to me and it was in the beginning of Gora pastimes, Gora Lila. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was performing his pastimes first in Navadvip before he took sannyas. And for during this time, Nityananda was traveling all around India in so many tirthas, holy places. And finally he reached in Vrindavan. And then he stayed almost 20 years in Vrindavan, completely absorbed in Radha Krishna loving pastimes. And during this time, during his absorption and meditation and living in Vrindavan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was performed different pastimes. But suddenly, Nitai felt that time came, that he leave Vrindavan and come to Navadvip to meet his beloved brother. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also felt, oh, my brother is coming. And when Itai reached Navadvip, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent all his devotees to find him and bring him, that they can embrace each other and finally meet each other. So all devotees, all eternal associates, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went all around Vrindavan to find Nitai. And they couldn't find him. They went all around, they searched everywhere, but they couldn't find him. They came back to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and said, I'm sorry, we cannot find this person. How is it possible that we cannot find him? Because between these associates, eternal associates, there were so many Nitya Siddhas. They can see everything. They can find everything and everyone. Between them, there were also demigods. They also can find and see 
and hear everyone on the planet Earth. But they have been unsuccessful. They couldn't find a type. The JT Mahaprabhu sent them again. You must be careful and try to find him looking very, very concentrated. And again, they spread all around Naudweep, calling Nitai, 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 trying to find him in many, many hidden places, but they couldn't do that again. So they came back to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and said, I'm sorry, we're sorry, very sorry, unfortunately, we couldn't find him. We should know that between them was uh, Shiva Stakur, who was Narada Muni. There is no secret for Narada Muni in all universe, material, and also in Vaikuntas. There is no any secret. Also, Dvaita Acharya was there. He is Mahavishnu, Shiva. He is Paramatma in each heart also, of everyone's heart. So he must know where is Nitai. Like he must know where each person is. So they couldn't find, they failed. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu finally said, okay, I will find him. And he was laughing and laughing and laughing and running directly to the place where Nitai was hiding himself. And that place was the home of his grandfather, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's grandfather. He hired himself in the home of Goranga's grandfather. I forgot the name, Nanda something or doesn't matter. Nanda Nacharya. Nanda Nacharya. Thank you, Maharaj. So <clears throat> when, when those two personalities saw each other, Immediately, they will start to cry, to embrace each other, to roll on the ground. And all earth were trembling because of ecstasy of Nitai Gaur. And then the festival of love starts because so many other devotees came and witnessing this beautiful, sublime scene when Nitai and Goranga was meeting in Avadvip. So there is, this Lila came to me because so many hidden meanings are behind that. But the main point is that we need the mercy of Goranga to understand Radha Krishna and to receive the mercy of Goranga, we need the mercy of Nitai. But who can give us Nitai? Who can bring us to representative? bona fide representative of Nittai. Gora Kripa again. Gora Kripa brings to Nittai, Nittai brings to Goranga, Goranga brings to Nittai, Nittai brings to Radha Krishna. And this is always going around and around so the devotees are always depending on this Guru mercy and also the mercy of Ishtadev. But also they depend on the mercy 
of devotees who are representative of Nitai, Akanda, Guru Shakti, which is everywhere and is all present. So I just said this. Radhe Radhe. Jai Nitai. Jai Nitai. Jai Nitai. Jai. So our Sri Didi also, if you could share something about Nitai, welcome. Jai Nitai, everyone. Thank you for sharing so beautifully. <clears throat> everyone in their own feelings. It's so unlimited, like you said. Goranga, and it's like an open, like a, a secret, a mystic secret to really get the mercy of Nitai. We need the mercy of our Gurudev because he is a representative in this world of Nitai. And when we look at Nitai, Nityananda from Sadaka, or he looks as, as us. <clears throat> then he is the guru who is giving, plowing the land like Balaram, giving the seed of bhakti, giving the holy name, getting all the obstacles from our path in the past to become, you know, a devotee, uh, a good practicing soul. And like this, the plant is slowly, slowly growing. The plant of bhakti, the understanding or the feeling to Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And then when the plant of the bhakti is growing, then some fruits are coming. Then these fruits, are given to Aranga Manjari. So when the Sataka becomes by the mercy of Gurudev, more and more acquainted with the eternal nature, then Nitai will be received in the mood of Aranga Manjari. And will help the sadaka, the soul, to enter into eternal relationship with Srimati Radhika. And then also Gurudev will be seen and felt like a representative of Ananda Mandri. So that's a process of our growing in bhakti and growing from sadaka deya to get, receiving also our dasi bhav receiving our transcendental feelings in the desire to serve Srimati Radhika. And then Ananga Mandari will bring the fruits to Srimati Radhika, the fruits of this soul endeavor to serve. And more and more the relation will develop from the, the perspective of Siddhava, from our eternal relationship to Srimati Radhika. This is the beautiful, beautiful explanation that I heard from our Gurudev. And I know when I met him the first time, and I hear the first time how he speak about the Guru Tapa, I was so much in love with this. I never hear any kind of explanation of Nitai Tattva, Guru Tattva like this, because the Guru Tattva is Radharani's Tattva. It's how she is bringing the souls back to her lotus feet and how she is taking all the forms to bring the souls back. And how this, what Gurudev explained, what he got as a, a great mercy from his Gurudev and what took him also 10 years, he always says, to uh, understand deeply, to meditate 10 years on the subject, how Antaranga Shakti becomes Bahiranga Shakti, how internal becomes everywhere. The internal uh, service of Shimati Radhika 
in her service to Mohan is, is, is moving everywhere. She is going everywhere with him. Mm -hmm. She is Ananda Madre. Gurudev always said, don't differentiate between Shimati Radhika and Ananda Madre. They are so dear to each other. They are no difference. They are sweet and very hard to different. You know, even Krishna cannot make a difference. So when Nitai comes with Gora, he is also that, you know, Antaranga Shakti that becomes Bhairanga. It's the aspect of Shimati Radhika that is guiding also the souls back to the home, back to Godhead, to her Lord, to sleep, to her service. And our Gurdi, who has come here to help us to enter into this beautiful, beautiful self-realization that has been given to us, this Prema Datta. It has been, it's giving, it's, it's, it's receiving, it's not producing. So we are receiving the mercy of Nitai and we are receiving the mercy of Goranga Mahaprabhu. And we are just so lucky that we took a human birth now in this time and that we can be blessed by this mercy. I want to share that yesterday we were sitting here and reading about this and uh, one devotee asked me, well, how come that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so strict with this chanting? He said that I don't go into a house where somebody does not chant. Take a luck. One luck. <laughs> and this is also true. He was always expecting and inspiring the devotees to do a lot of chanting and a lot of you know, shelter as much as everyone can do. But at the same time, there was Nitai. And when Goranga wanted to be very strong to, hit, uh, to, to um, punish uh, uh, Madai, who had beaten his beloved Nitai on the head, mm -hmm. then Nitai was the one who said, don't punish, like you said so nicely, Maharaj. So I think what I personally feel, we have the different aspects of Guru. You know, Goranga is also teaching. But Nitai, he does not care about our qualification. Like Srimati Radhika is also not caring if we are qualified or not. That is the most merciful aspect, the most merciful uh, possibility that we can have and that I also need. So I pray today that by the mercy of Nitai, I may also get a chance and all of us, we get a chance to get the mercy, to feel who we are, to feel more desire to go into the service to Srimati Radhika. And that through the mercy of all the mantras, we may be also past the test of Ananda Mantra. That is our Gurudev. That is our last, you know, the last, uh, how do you say, purification and uh, rectification to get the entrance into our Siddha Swarup in our spiritual bodies, in our eternal. Uh, spiritual senses to be able to serve Srimati Radhika. Dai Nitai, Dai Dai Shiradi. Jai. Jai. So, Suniti also talks something very beautiful. About Nityananda, also Ananga Manjari, bringing us to Radhagan. So we can see that Nita is there, that Nita is everywhere. From the beginning of our spiritual life, when we get the mercy of a Vaishnava, 
Guru. And then at the end of our journey, at the entrance of the Nikunja, <laughs> also Ananga Manjari is there. <laughs> so Ananga Manjari, two different moods are there. Sometimes like a sake, <laughs> but also serving like a manjari. She knows both of the moods and she will check our heart <laughs> before we can enter the Nikonja. Some sake bath is still there, then you cannot enter. So <laughs> at the entrance <laughs> of the Nikonja, Nita is there also. <laughs> Jai Ho Nita. <laughs> and Goranga Sunda, he also say, Gurudev, he is the re representative of Nita. Mm -hmm. And he also say that even the Vaishnavas are the representatives. So I remember when Raguna Das Goswami wanted to surrender to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu, he sent him back. He said, it's too early for you. <laughs> Go back home. Stay in your circumstances. Serve your family. So after that, one day Raghunath, he went to see Nityananda. He listened about him and he went to the Spani Hati festival. <laughs> and Nita, he recognized him. He knows he is a very rich man. <laughs> And he told to Raghunath, hey, please make a big bandara. Feed all the Vaishnavas. Arrange one big prasadam for all the devotees. Then Raghunath, he did that. And then he got mercy of Nita, putting his feet on his head. So by the mercy of the Vaishnavas, we getting the mercy of Guru and Nita. When you go to Vrindavan, mm -hmm. For one of the first services you do, you distribute Prem Prashad. You start serving Prasadam and Prasadam Hall to the devotees. So, yes. The life of Raguna, you can see what Goranga Sundara explained. That the Vaishnavas are also representatives of Nita. Jai Nita. And I wanted to say something about Guru Tattva also. In the Nam Aparat, there is the third offense is to disobey the orders of Guru and to think that Guru Dev is an ordinary human being. <clears throat> but it also means 
it is also a mistake, Aparat, to think my guru is better than someone's other guru. Because then we don't understand Guru Tattva. We don't understand Nita. That in every guru there is Nita. Maybe I love my Guru Dev very much, and maybe I think my Guru Dev is the best. <laughs> it can be expression of our love that we have with our Guru Dev. But we should never think other gurus are not good as good as my guru. Then we make a mistake in our thinking. Then we don't understand Guru Tattva. Then we don't understand Nita. So I am watching my guru today. He is so, so respectful to all the teachers. Maybe they have a different mood. Maybe they are devotees of Krishna. Maybe they are Christian priests. But teaching is teaching. Nita is everywhere. Yes. So in this way, we should give respect to all the teachers from all the traditions and everywhere. Jai Nitai. Jai Nitai. Gurudev, please. Dhanavad, please share something, Guru Dev. You are all sharing so nicely. I feel so nice uh, to glorify my Nitai because Guru is everything. One thing I want to see under any type, bar any type, is inside and outside. So inside is guiding us when we surrender to our. Nitai, Guru Dev. Second thing, we learn that a spiritual life is all a spiritual. But in this song of Nityananda, living and non living thing is also Nitai. My God. When you love Nitai, you only not care to the living thing, even to the non-living thing you love, and see the Nitai there also. That becomes divine wisdom. Living and non-living thing is also Nitai. He becomes chair, he becomes carpet, he becomes bed, he becomes mattress, he becomes pillow. Again. When this divine vision will come to me, that I can see in living and non-living thing, to you, Nitai. Today, when this time will come in my life, that it will not <laughs> Thing also, we will care. Because this service is 
among my daily service this service is divine service that way i can relate every place to my nitai and second thing you see my guru dev many disciples and all are different more all has a different nature all has a different living style and how the time merciful how good they merciful to give the circumstances and create inside circumstances that we develop our spiritual life you see everyone has a different feeling circumstances without living guru how he will guide us in which circumstances you can grow it how divine vision he has to give me you see i was only one family member of my gurudev all our baba ji living together sleeping in the floor together and he said to baba ji disciples that you respect his oldest god brother of you <coughs> so baba ji they will give respect to the grahastha and they will give respect and love to me i was normal family member that time ha huh? so nitai guru can see which way this will grow and which way to put him so he can see that the patra the person of all living being that how to help him and how he will grow in the way and everyone he give different different teaching is not that one teaching he give from where this come to him it comes to his nitai his guru his guide so this thing divine vision to to from diva, more divine his guru so this is guru parampara our teacher how this path that can grow some place they are grahasta they want to renounce life and he said to nitai you go to the grahasta <laughs> you see that after <laughs> us you go in grahasta he was full life renounced person and he say you go in grahasta <laughs> and even go in enter in grahasta he is not married with one girl he married two girls you see hi basuda han janwa to guru kripa which way and how it comes to us we don't know one story i was in bansane is a story a real story i say you i listen from one parivasi one person i forget the name of that he come when he was 45 years old he had a family wife everything he left everything and he come to barsane to do bhajan when he become 75 80 years old then one day radharani dream 
you have to go to marriage. <laughs> and I find one girl for you. <laughs> and she is 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and he started crying. I have my wife, my grandson, and he has the grandsons. <laughs> and now, I, in this age, I have to go to marriage again. Oh, crying. And in, a, in the lunch time, the grandfather, he said, today night I dream it that I have to marry my daughter with you. I have to, I come on me because rather so he also comes. And when he sees the old man, he also starts crying because my <laughs> 19 years old girl, <laughs> one old man, and Radha Rani dreamed to his uh, wife also, original wife, that, that village, and to his son. Your father is going to marry, so you also come <laughs> to attend this marriage. <laughs> <laughs> they are also coming with family. All they come, what? And both family join together. And because this was the instruction of Radha Rani, so the all become angry <laughs> because it's the same dream to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot deny it. <laughs> and he was married with the, this uh, young girl. 70, 75 years old man, and still this becomes Goswami of this temple. There are two families running to manage seva of Goswami's Varga in the Vasanis temple. One is a younger family and one is an older family. Both they come and they start serving to Radha Rani. Still, their family tradition is going on. <laughs> it was on. He said, after you, who will do seva? So I make this tradition that they will keep maintain the seva. Both family of his. So what Radharani must see, we don't know. So the time must be how and which circumstances come to me, we don't know. This is all Guru knows <laughs> and Radha Rani knows. <laughs> I listen to Siddhar Maharaj and Siddhar Maharaj always say, Nitai, Nitai, Nitai. Harade, Harade, Harade. I don't understand that time why he said Nitai and Radhe. Now it's a very crystal clear. Nitai and Radhe is the way of our life. Radhe, Radhe. Yeah. And I my Gurudev, when I am traveling any place, any Nitya, the one such he see, any one family tradition from Nitya, he give Dandavat in the street. And we all do because of he is doing how we have to do. So he has so much respect to Nitya. 
permitted can of me time he was 110 years old a man 100 years 105 years maybe i see in 100 and he give dandu was to 40 years 35 years old man and he teaches we respect to nitai with respect to the lineage of nitai to give love to nitai when is mercy will how will come that to be close of radhika he can bring you that he can bring you that when we will be vision will be clear in living and non non living things to see nitai radhe we spiritually we practice only living things but nitai is not living and non living things in nitai means everything we have to maintain and give love for that mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> yeah. So you see, in India they respect Madanga, they do worship mm-hmm. Armenia. They never cross that. Gartalas, mm-hmm. everything. living and non living thing maintain and clean and keep it nice then you are serving to the child very deep thank you no very thing in it is infinity <laughs> but this two subject we think we have living so we have to go in living way but what about non living mm-hmm. <laughs> need i talk to their why we have to hear say thank you siran dear everyone good day hi guru dev yeah i want yeah. to give also one more very nice example i want to show my example <laughs> i was like a baba <laughs> going living in india 8 months <clears throat> every year almost doing service in jamna I am thinking this will be my life now. I only want to focus. <laughs> Then what happened to me? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking that I get married when I'm 45 now. But Nita he knows you know it what are my circumstances best circumstances you gave me my rasa madhuri you gave me new mother <laughs> now i have house and car and garden and everything <laughs> <laughs> and you give me association of jayananda you give me service in japan so many nice devotees in jamda ha nobody watching me now everyone watching <laughs> fans is coming <laughs> that <laughs> this is guru kripa my gurudev give me this mercy to you 
This is the Gurudev Kripa to you, my dear. He loves you so much. In non-living thing you are living, many material thing you got it, but your attachment is not there. <laughs> Is still your service for Jabdaha is going on. Is still I your group, Gurudev. I have new idea for Jamda. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not come, come I cannot come to Vrindavan a long time now. But I feel more mercy yeah. from you. Yeah. Ishta Dev, your Patil power is your Ishta Dev. You give me Ishta Dev, Guru Dev. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone shocked. What? Gora Chandra? Nobody think. You ask Jayananda, he was shocked. Really? Gora Chandra? Impossible. <laughs> everyone thinking like this. I also think like that. <laughs> Chai. <laughs> Nitai, Gurudev knows your heart better than you know yourself. You think you know what is good for you, but you don't know. <laughs> you know Nitai knows better. This is the true, yeah. <laughs> Nitai knows everything. My Gurudev knows everything. And he gives the way. It's a surprising way in life. Impossible to get it. We cannot calculate from our circumstances what Nitai guide us and give us. Mercy is very connected with Swami Radhika. So this happens. Sit there, sit there. <laughs> I want to say one more thing. September 2019, I came to Vrindavan and I wanted to stay only two weeks in Vrindavan and I wanted to go to Jamdaha like every year. So every year, Gurudev, you encourage me, yes, go to Jamdaha, go ser doing service, that is good. But 2019, you say to me, what you will do in Jamda? <laughs> you, can, you can go later. Stay here in Kartik, do some service. Ah, Jamda. Like, I was shocked. I start thinking, why he say like this? <laughs> you are always pushing me out of Jamda. Go, go. <laughs> now he say what you want to do in Jamda. Nothing is there. <laughs> 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 then I meet Rasa Madhuri. Everything be become fixed. So that this evidence that Nita already he know it. Maybe you don't know conscious. Why? I you stop me to go to Jamda. <laughs> Just coming out of your mouth. Just connection, inside connection. Nita telling you keep him here. <laughs> <laughs> but when I say to you, Gurudev, I will marry, you also were surprised. What? <laughs> Who is <laughs> and you see, at 
Mithil Pavan, Lila, how we can see if you are not married with Nitai, Patit Pavan, how merciful to you and how you are your wife, which difficult circumstances she was, mm -hmm. and you bring and the best place you organize for. Mm -hmm. And you are taking more care than her to her mother. Mm -hmm. And she loves you more than her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> Everything is miracle. <laughs> and what you cannot do before, now you start preaching about Patit Pavan. Huh? Right, Ras Madhuri? You listening or not? Connection is bad. I could not listen to you. Now Gopinath can even share. Okay. Actually, I, I, I came running now when I heard that uh, beautiful Leela of Nitai happening in the Zoom. So Gurudev was saying all is Nitai. So the Zoom is, I feel, the best Nitai for us. <laughs> It gives us the possibility to connect from all the different angles of the world. And my 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 dear Gora Chandra was chasing me today because he's also Nitai for me, very merciful brother, and he had a wonderful inspiration. And I think today is the day to share it. Um, Gurudev Gorachandra has a deep inspiration that in Jamdaha, which he and Rasa Madhuri actually are sponsoring the entire seva of Jamdaha, almost the entire seva, whole year they are sponsoring there, from the prashad, from the temple seva, everything they are covering. They're so generous. And also, they're so much infused by Nitai. Shakti, that Gorachandra is saying that why is there only Mahaprabhu Gurudev? We're missing Nitai in Jamda. Yeah. There's a statue of Mahaprabhu which was installed like, I don't know, 15 years ago by, by Gurudev. And, uh, but Mahaprabhu is very alone. So Gorachandra's wish is Gurudev also to have Nitai there. Yeah, very good. <laughs> we have to do. There is already one Nitai, Nitai Baba, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but we need also a, a Murti of Nitai. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. I agree with this. I agree. Immediately try to do This idea, I could. Be. This idea of Nita being everywhere is very strange and beautiful. Everybody mentioned it, all four of you and Guru as well. And it's hard to understand. Nita is everywhere. And even today, we talk about mercy being everywhere, mercy coming everywhere. And understanding mercy is some kind of gift. <coughs> and it is a gift. But it's a gift of... It's a gift of seva. It's a gift of a possibility to serve. This is what's everywhere. When Nita expands in all the gurus of all the world and starting with our own, 
it's a place and a space where we can give, we can serve. I said, uh, sorry, it's not too original, I said it before, but German speakers are the best uh, devotees because in German language to say it is or there is or it exists, you say it, it, it gives, it skipped. So there's a kind of fundamental generosity in just existing that comes out in German language. And I think this is what Nitai means, that, that, that the ability, the, the space to serve is, is, is what it means to exist for every devotee everywhere. And we become ourselves, we are ourselves as jivas when we serve. And our Guru gives us the place and the space to learn this and to, to do it concretely. Okay. Wow, Udawa, this is so deep. Thank you so much. Non-German speaking cannot catch the point, probably. <laughs> but very deep. <laughs> you know, if you in English, there is there is something in Germany. We say "es gibt." "Es gibt" means there is, but "es gibt" "gibt" coming from. Meaning is giving. It gives. It gives. <coughs> so in the existence of there is, it's included in German language. The tendency of service is included. Giving. Es gibt. There is. Es gibt. Giving. Giving is included deeply in the language. I said it much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never recognized that. Udava opened this very deep, actually. But in German, there are many such deep things. Udava can explain better than me, I think. <laughs> Just, no, hi, Udava. No, so no, beautiful. Yeah. A friend to Germans everywhere. Huh? No, you explained beautifully. That to to exist is to serve. We're most completely ourselves when we're serving others. So, Gurudev, in which way we can attract the mercy of Nitai? What we can do to get more mercy from Nitai? <laughs> Yes. Mercy can come by Mahaprabhu teaching Janada peace. One day Jananda is reading Anandas Bhavaji and explaining this is devotion. Seva is very important. Service is always important. This material body has to be used and engaged in the service. 
Then we can reach to that highest goal. Then it's like an umbrella protection always of Nidai and our Swami. Um, this is the devotion. How much we will be humble, our devotion is growing. How much we are tolerant, our devotion is growing. This Trinata piece on each in a verse is also on Manjari Bhav Gurudev. It's not, yes. not only Sakta. Yeah. I'm an 11 years old girl. Yeah. What I can decide in my house. Yeah. I have to be very humble. I cannot even decide when we will eat. Mother will say when to cook. When mother and father say we are going this place, what I can decide when I am just 11 years old. I always have to surrender to the superiors. Yeah. <laughs> But when I go outside and meet my 11-year-old girlfriends, <laughs> then different mood is coming. We are little girls already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Yeah. Uh, I'm just inspired to ask you. Um, there seems to be deep connection between Trinada Pisunichena and to be the view viewer in the life. Can you say something about it in the practical life? Again, it seems to be uh, the deep connection between uh, between be humble, Trinada Pisunichena, and uh, to be the viewer in the life, just to not to the doer, but the viewer in life. Here in Sadak Deha is a doer. No? In Sadak Deha, we have to watch full to reach the viewer position. In the Sadak Deha, we cannot be a viewer. This is teaching of the Sadak Deha. In the Sadak Deha, consciousness means to keep this consciousness that I am how I am. 
my ego is higher or my humbleness is I am practicing humbleness or not. I am living in humble. I have to watchful and I have to do it also. So in Sadak Deha, we do, but we do different things. So why not to do this? To reach to the Siddha Deha, to be a real devotee, real. The stage you reach to the your sarupa base, the trana the peace niche na taro the peace ahsuna tolerance. Why I lose my tolerance? Amani na mande na. Why I want my respect? Why not I give respect to others? So here, I have to watch for <coughs> in my sadhak deha. When I will reach to the center deha, then we will be viewer. If this practice is in my sadhak deha, physical body, then I can reach to the viewer consciousness. Right? Gauranga Sundar. Say something on this point. He convinced with your words. <laughs> Please continue. We want to flow in your explanations for it. No, no. Maybe you can improve it. What? <laughs> But this is actually a really beautiful point which Diane Idiji said, actually. That this connection between humility and the point of viewer. And like you said, real viewer can be only from the point, from the level or from the angle of Swarup. But we have to use our sadhak wish, our body, to be cautious, to be watchful, <laughs> to be watchful. To be watchful on what? How our false ego is acting, actually. Because false ego always wants to be a doer. He always has some plans, some projects some new ideas and behind that is self-promotion it's not service mode at all although it can looks like a service mode but it's not a service mode and the service mode has to be enlightened in Swarup. And when this Swarup is prominent, then this reflection of this kind of consciousness automatically will appear on a Sadaka Vesh. So to be a real viewer, it means to be fixed, to be situated, is spiritual identity. Otherwise, if we are not, the person can be on bodily consciousness and on a bodily consciousness cannot be humble. It's not possible. This is not, not the nature of bodily and consciousness and false ego. This is not the nature. The nature of spiritual identity is to be humble. This is natural humility. It's not humility under the gunas, under the false ego. And the result of this natural humility is ability to be a viewer, not a doer. Then 
we can become perfect instruments. And we can see from the examples of all acharyas, all pure devotees, <clears throat> how they have been instruments in the hands of gurus, in the hands of Nitai, in the hands of Radhika, Krishna, and all other superiors. So this verse, Srinada Pisunichena, which is warning devotees, please always be aware and be conscious from your sadhakavet, what you are doing, what you are thinking, how you are behaving. This is the homework. This is the sadhana for sadhakavet. And in the same time, nourishing the heart with the Mahavanis, with the great <coughs> words of Acharyas. Then humility will slowly start to appear in the heart, in the consciousness, in the behavior. And this is Nitai Kripa. No, no one who is on the bodily conscious, who is conditioned, cannot be humble. This is not possible. This is the not nature of conditioned soul. We can pretend to be humble, but this is not real, genuine humility. Humility is coming from inside consciousness, not from false ego. And for that, every sadhaka needs sincerity, honestly. So, and this is only Kripa. This is possible only by Kripa. And Kripa is coming from Guru who is representative of Nitai, or we can say, ultimately, Radha Kripa. That Kripa can come, then we become viewer. <laughs> then we start living in that Kripa in a form of viewer, watching what is happening, surprise us. And that flow, when it starts, it never stops. When the day will come that this flow will start in my life, that is to wait. When the flow starts, it never stops. Then is mentioned Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha Samsid Bihar. Only a few seconds of the association of Sadhu, it can come to my heart. And all perfection of this happening, Kripa mercy will start happening in life. So, if really we catch in my heart and keep it, flow will start. <laughs> I always think that we have to focus on the positive thing, not on the negative thing. So I always think that what we can do and what we should do is to absorb ourselves in Manjari Bhag. 
by listening the sweet kata of Ananta Das Babaji and going deep in this, doing bhaja, living in this mood, living in this identification. The problem is that for all of us, it's not possible to do that. <laughs> to absorb ourselves so completely because we are not bhajan anandi and we are living a normal life in the western world and we de dealing with our jobs and family members and different people we meet and this and that so it's very difficult to absorb ourselves deeply in that mood although this is the only medicine because we cannot do that and we have to deal in our normal life with normal people in our jobs and this and that because of this we must also understand how our ego works because of this we have to see our mistakes and watch our ego and no, watch our sadaka deha, watch our human character because we cannot always live in the identity of a manjari. I think because of this we have to watch our ego also. But the medicine is to absorb in the manjari, in the setasvaru. So, yeah, I wanted to share that because m sometimes we have the understanding that oh, all the time I should watch my anatas and I should watch my apparat and my ahankara and all the time. Only focusing this doesn't help. It doesn't help to focus on the spiritual thing, on our spiritual identity. But same time in our normal life, we have to deal with our conditioned human nature also. <laughs> that I want to I want to put together what I just learned from Gauranga and uh, Gaurachandra. <laughs> Make a lasagna out of the ingredients. <laughs> yes, Gauranga, we're, the, the, the pure devotee is, is humble. But, but because it's no longer a, a question of being humble, the perfect devotee has come to the state of perfection and there's no question about what to do or not to do. The pure devotee is a viewer and not a doer because there's nothing else to do. It's become, she's become completely perfect and perfect reality. Humility is a question for the sadhaka, for us poor impure, impure devotees, where we have to face every concrete situation and decide to be humble, exactly when it's not easy to be humble, to resist doing exactly when at the moment we want to do and make, because we have an, a path of imperfection in front of us in order to become perfect. So humility, yes, in both cases, but for the sadhaka, humility is a task, a path to walk through examples, through inspiration, through mercy. That was my lasagna. <laughs> I may, I may, little bit want to add this. Is okay. Some Japanese lasagna. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> oh my. So very beautiful, Goranga, Gora Chandra, and Uddhavaji. Sorry, I'm maybe little bit philosophy, philosophy. So like, uh, if we meditate, I think. Siddha Swarupa, by the mercy of Gurudev, or my, by the mercy of Vaishnava, or Nitai, or our Swamini, or our Moham. We could attain Vishuddha Sattva. 
So we, com we completely beyond the mode of nature. So how to beyond the mode of nature? That is surrendering. And if we surrendered, means give up whole sego. <laughs> so yesterday, yesterday I talk, you know, one example of surrendering, but as some or other, some devotee complained because of internet disconnection. So yesterday I went to dentist. So, and uh, I trust my dentist, but I don't know what's happening in my teeth. What kind of treatment the doctor does, I have no idea, honestly speaking. But I cannot get out. All I have to do just to give up my ego. Okay, I surrender um, to my, my dentist, my, my doctor. Then my mind peaceful. Okay, whatever happening, it's happening. It is my, my, my kind of destiny. So everything must of Nitai, our Swamini. Whatever happening, I have to accept. So similarly, if, if we find out Guru Dev, we trust Guru Dev, then surrender, we need surrender. Whatever he say, whatever treat us, sometimes he angry with me, he treat very badly, whatever happening. Mm -hmm. I select my doctor. Whatever you say, yes, good them, I agree. I try to surrender. I surrender unto you. Then slowly, slowly, <coughs> we beyond material, material, and beyond material guna. So good them say this creeper comes. Then we can beyond this mode of nature. Then we could attain Shuddha Sattva and then Vishuddha Sattva. So that we need mercy. Sadhu's mercy. Guru's mercy. Our Ishta, especially today, Nitai. We need mercy of Nitai, Nityananda. And also we need mercy of our Swamini our moha so just to you know so this is i want to add that yeah janet i i i want to after the listening now and uh tasting the lasagna which would have been so nicely prepared for us and Maya, it would be nice we could see your face honestly really uh, <laughs> it's not nice to just have the voice thank you my dear Rade. sorry Rade. sorry sorry i have to learn i have to learn from all of you it's a very nice face too you have to say uh, okay sorry for for uh, not showing my face so i thought i want to give a dessert now <laughs> um, in the form of mercy, because when I was listening to Gora Chandra and Goranga and then Udavan so nicely prepared the lasagna, I thought, where's the dessert now? And Goranga, Gora, um, Gora Chandra was telling about the only medicine actually is to absorb ourselves in Manjri Bhav. Though in the day-to-day -day life, it ain't easy, as we say in America, it ain't easy. But then I was thinking that actually, what is the meaning of Harinama Kevalam? What is the meaning of this beautiful verse, which we know that in this age of quarrel, the only way is to chant the holy name. And then it came to me that, wow, actually... If we chant the holy name, if we chant the Mahamantra, 
we can actually practice our Manjari Bhav because the Maha Mantra has been infused by Mahaprabhu with Manjari Bhav. This is what Gurudev has revealed to us so many times. So actually, we only need to chant the Maha Mantra, whatever we are doing, right? This is Nitai Kripa. If we're going to work, if we're cooking, if we're studying, if we always have the Maha Mantra flowing with us, if we only keep the Japa and chant, then actually we have the medicine, which Gora Chandra was saying, we need this medicine and we have it actually in the form of Maha Mantra, which is given by Mahaprabhu's mercy. So I just felt that, uh, yeah, so this was a small dessert yes. to receive. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> There's more, more coming. I want to add one cherry on top because I had rather right Priya here. And so just today the Abhishek was very ecstatic and <clears throat> I start again crying because I felt like you cannot uh, realize Nita, the mercy without tears. It's it's just this body is not not uh, possible to take it without tears. And then I'm standing behind the three Nitais we were doing uh, Abhishek today and I was thinking, oh, I don't see their eyes, but immediately I realized that it doesn't matter because their eyes are everywhere. Mm-hmm. So, and then I surrendered then and then the Leela rolled out and then I just saw like we are in Sankirtan and they're, you know, it's, uh, we're following and uh, dancing and and chanting Maha Mantra and uh, and it's so ecstatic and exactly this is the parampara Goranga and Nittai they're in front and it's the Sankirtan is like parampara you know that we are ecstatically chanting and going together like in this like lineage and then yeah it was just I, I got this kind of vision in Abhishek so it was really really ecstatic and then uh-huh. after we played um, Ridanga so heavily that even even the bruises on my hands are like blue so Nitai came even to my hands if you play <laughs> so it's just just yes I, I was just wanted to add also that this um, pure devotee qualification is that they surrender fully so this is then there, there is no question about humility because if you're surrendered fully then it's done then this is the pure devotee so it's very beautiful. Nityananda Trayodashi here. Radhe.